A large, open-access visual leaf library developed by a Penn State-led team provides a new resource to help scientists recognize and classify these leaves. The complexity of leaves is off the charts, and the terminology we have to describe them is only the tiniest beginning of what is needed, said Peter Wilf, professor of geosciences at Penn State. Researchers need much more accessible visual references to study what the differences are among the many plant groups, so we can put more of that into words. There are a lot of plant families that look superficially similar, and this collection provides an opportunity to see new patterns. Studying fossil and modern leaves traditionally requires research visits to museum collections, which requires funding, planning and time for travel to several Lakati. More museums are putting leaf collections online, but often these images are low resolution, are hard to access in quantity, have uninformative file names, or the leaves are photographed with other plant parts and labels that make rapid comparisons challenging, the scientists said. They reported in PhytoKeys that the dataset is available from the Figshare Plus repository. The dataset contains 30, 252 images, including 26, 176 images of cleared and x-rayed leaves and 4, 076 fossil leaves. Cleared leaves are specimens that have been chemically bleached, stained and mounted on slides to reveal vein patterns. Each image represents a vouchered museum specimen. What we have done here is to make this massive educational resource available to everyone by vetting and standardizing all these images from different legacy sources, Wilf said. It took 15 years for us all to do that and convert all the file names, but now you can have the whole package on your desktop with a single browser click. Every file name has the key information embedded, in the same order for rapid alpha sorting, family, genus, species, and specimen number. The file names can be rapidly searched in seconds for the item you are interested in and the images viewed using standard tools, such as the Windows search bar. All images are original resolution. Nothing is downsampled. The dataset is a potential resource not just to train students but also machine learning programs. His advisor, Thomas Sayre, professor in computer science at Brown, also contributed. Using these models as a starting point for an expert to either accept, reject or scrutinize further could soon prove to be a profound example of using technology to expand the value that is possible for a single scientist to produce as well as what is possible for us as a society to learn about the Further compounding the challenge, many of the individual fossils represent plants that are extinct. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.